So today I am going to be recreating my egg carton flower video because I think that it's not as clear with text on top. So it's better if I do it with voice and this time I have two ideas for you instead of one. And this idea itself is a bit different. So let's get into the materials you'll need for this craft are egg carton, obviously, scissors, hot glue, but instead of hot glue, you could also use white or clear glue, paintbrush, palette, I'm going to be using this um, scarlet color, and as well as white, and beads. These are optional materials if you want to use them or not. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first step we're going to do is take our scissors and cut up our a carton right here. And I'm going to move this to the side. So the first thing you're going to do and remember is that you are not going to perfect this the first time. You need to have a lot of practice to get the perfect shape in the end because even when I was doing this at the beginning, it was kind of frustrating because I wasn't getting the perfect shape. So you have to have a lot of practice for this, all right? So now we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut the egg carton. We're just going to cut off the excess part over here and just smooth out the edges. Like this. And now... Take our scissors again and we are just going to create cuts in the middle like this. So I'm going to do one over here and then another opposite over here. And then another one over here and then the opposite to that. It depends on how thick or thin you want your petals to be. I hope you guys can see pretty clearly. Right? So now comes a bit of the tricky part, which is making the petals. So I'm going to zoom this in so that you can see. So you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut one over here on the side. So first side you're going to cut and then you're going to take your other side and cut that as well. So you kind of see the shape forming, right? And so now you're just going to cut off these pointy edges that you see and we're just going to smooth them out and if any of them are uneven then just fix them like this and there is your first petal okay any pointy sides you see you just get rid of it basically starting off I'm gonna show you again you're gonna cut off the sides and then you're just going to form the curved shape and get rid of all the pointy sides that you see. Mind you, this is also going to make a lot of mess because you're going to have all these little shards everywhere. So, yeah. This is how it looks, and you're going to do the exact same thing on the other two sides. Make sure that all of your petals are even, and if there is one that's a bit taller than the other one, you can just snip it off and do the same steps that we did for the rest of the petals. So the next step is optional. We are going to be making a tinier flower. So we're going to take our egg carton and cut it up, do the same thing. Except this time, we are going to cut it much smaller as compared to the previous one. So for this one, you might want to keep on cutting and pretty much make this like a baby size. I'm just going to keep on cutting. So this is the size and we're just going to put this inside and see to measure if, you know, it's the perfect size and if we need to cut it even more or if it's perfectly fine. So again, the same thing, we're just going to snip at all four sides, depending on 
how many you want. Another thing to remember, don't cut it too deep inside. Otherwise, it is going to, you know, tear apart. Kind of like an example would be if you cut all the way to the end, it's just going to come off in the end. So be careful for that. And we're just going to do the same thing. Snip off the sides. This one is going to be a little bit challenging considering obviously it is smaller. But keep on practicing and I'm sure you're going to get it somehow. I'm also using bigger scissors because it's much easier than using smaller scissors. Because, you know, it is kind of thick. So... That's why I'm using bigger scissors. And now you're gonna do that for all the sides. All right, now we're gonna check and see. This fits the inside perfectly. So the next step is going to be the paint. So I'm just going to take out my white paint. I'm going to be making pink, so I'm just going to be mixing the two colors. Depending on how much paint you're going to need, add as much as that. So now we're going to take our egg carton flour and we're just going to use the paintbrush and just paint the tip of the petal. Best you use a small paintbrush for this. It's much easier. I'm just using the corner part of the paintbrush on top. Same thing on all four sides. And now we're just going to let the flowers dry for a little bit before we go on to the next step. Once the paint has dried up on the flowers, we're now going to just assemble the puzzle pieces together. So we're going to take our beads, put hot glue in, and put the beads in. Be very careful while you're using the hot glue gun, especially since this is such a thin, it is a thick layer, but not too thin to like protect you. And then we're going to put it at the bottom of this flower, the big one, and put the baby one inside. Again, be very careful. And just remove the annoying hot glue gun strings. So this is the final look for the first idea. And now moving along, I'm going to show you the second idea. So these are going to be the materials you'll need for the second idea. I'm going to be using green colored egg carton, scissors, crepe paper instead of beads. But if you want to go with beads, go ahead. Paint, clear glue, glitter, paintbrush, and palette, hot glue gun. So these are somewhat the optional materials, like the whole paint part and the glitter part, if you want to do this or not. These are just extra details to kind of make the flower a bit more fancy. So we're going to do the same steps for the flowers that we did for the purple egg carton. So just depending on how many egg carton flowers you want, according to that, cut as many as you like. So now that we're done with making the egg carton flowers, what we're going to do is basically the same thing we did for the purple egg carton flowers. We are going to add a white sort of layer around the petals. 
Um, and I'm gonna show you this time how to do it with a thinner brush, which is much, much easier and better than using a, you know, normal thick paintbrush. And as you can see, it is much easier and it's going much smoother than the first time we made them. So. And basically do this for all four sides and we're gonna let this dry for a few hours and then we're going to move on to the next step. So once the paint is done drying, now what we're going to do here, I've mixed the glitter and glue together and we're basically going to take our paintbrush and I'm just going to be putting it around the same edges that we've done for the paint on top of it. And you just kind of be careful not to put it um, more than like underneath the paint because it might give like a stained kind of look so be careful with that and you're just going to do that for all the sides all the petals and after that we're just going to let this dry for a few hours a few minutes depends i think i've left the rest of these, they are already done. I think I left them for maybe one or two hours. All right. Now we're gonna let this dry. So we're gonna take our crepe paper and I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of it. And we're basically just gonna scrunch this, okay, and put hot glue at the bottom of the baby flower and put it on top of this like that all right and then do the same thing for this so carefully put the glue in the middle of the big flower and then we're just going to press this down over here and then get rid of all of those annoying hot glue gun strings so this is the final look of the second one and I'm going to bring and show you the rest of them as well. So this is the final look. Please do let me know in the comments section what you thought of this idea and whether you will try this or not. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.